pandemonium calmer and I'm sorry, not sorry if my eyes don't pop this morning, but I'm in the middle of a pandemic and I can't find my eyeliner. The good news is my lighting sucks, so it's like fading me out everywhere. So you can't probably tell. <laughs> good morning. We are live streaming on Twitter, my Facebook page, Twitch if you're on, um, LinkedIn, Instagram. Okay technical problems. LinkedIn and Instagram um, are not letting us live feed. We're going to post this video after. We're also live feeding on YouTube. With everything, there are technical problems. So let me know if you can hear me, see me, if we're live. Also, I just got a, an error that my disk space is full. So <laughs> welcome to life. Doing everything in isolation. <laughs> All right, today we're gonna to talk about two things. One, I've got some good news for you. And two, I'm gonna give you an update on the press release I sent out yesterday. Um, I'll start with number two. So in number two, yesterday I sent out a press release and I appealed to national organizations and local organizations to put resources for mental health online. I have heard nothing back <laughs> yet. But like everything, don't let anything discourage you that you want. Keep going. And I believe that one good thing that's going to happen from this pandemic, COVID-19, the coronavirus, is that we will make therapy and support groups more available online. Okay? And if you know anything about me, I invented the Brilliance Code, and the Brilliance Code tells you a lot of good things for your life. By the way, thank you, pandemic. I'm sitting at home finishing writing that right now. Um, but one thing it tells you is problems always can lead to a brighter future if we can see the opportunity in them. So that's a little bit of where on the good news, I'm going to try to get your mindset a little bit wrapped around the good news and the opportunities that are coming from this pandemic. And I know it's like super hard, but trust me, I've been wobbly. I've had some hard days. I've been worried about you guys. Um, I've been worried about my kids. I've been worried about the economy, all kinds of things, but it really does. Like my mom used to say when I was a little girl, this too will pass. And we need to practice getting our thoughts into a better place. Me included, my husband will tell you that. Um, about everything that's happening because really every problem creates an opportunity. The bigger the problem, the bigger the opportunity. So in this case, we'll have global positive changes. We've got to focus our eyes on our personal opportunities here and the opportunities for everyone. Here's the good news. I'm going to lay it out to you in a uh, in the way I did my newsletter this morning. So if you're not on my newsletter, go to Tammy Green, T-A-M-I-G-R-E-E-N.com, sign up for the newsletter because I've got all kinds of tips and updates in there that I can't always get out to you um, live, even though I'm going live every day now. I'd really like to sign up there and also I can hear from you there. Um, first thing, put in the chat, if you can see and hear me, and put in the chat a check-in. How are you doing today? Thumbs up, thumbs down. That's all you need to say. So we can get a temperature on how everyone's going. What I said in my newsletter this morning was that I'm a Texas girl. If you've been watching me, I'm in my Texas house. Um, we just bought this house. We made it for an Airbnb. Guess what? Um, it's not Airbnb now, and I'm here. We also live in Portland. So, and I'm going to show you more about the house later because I've made it just for you guys to come have a retreat in. But I'm from Texas. I'm in Texas now and Texas leads the nation in natural disasters. So I personally have been through tropical storms, flooding, hurricanes. You guys knew about that hurricane that came through a few years ago. Okay, Bonnie, thanks for letting me know that you're on and that you're doing okay. <laughs> um... The first thing that happens 
when a hurricane comes is we're watching the news all the time, a hurricane's coming, okay? And they say, oh, yep, it's coming, it's coming to Houston. The first thing that we do after we find out a hurricane's coming is we board up our houses so the windows don't get smashed and we get resources. We get food, we get batteries, all kinds of things. Our electricity goes out. Usually that's not something we are dealing with right now in the pandemic. But, uh, oh, Bonnie, she came to my retreat, Lake Conroe, and she's telling everyone about it. Thank you. We're going to have another one. Let us know if you want it in Portland or Houston. Might have it in this cute little house. Um, so what, okay, back to what I was saying. Hold on. I need a drink of coffee. Starbucks is still open, by the way. Yay. Um, so... In this pandemic, we're not having electrical outages, thank God, but we are having bandwidth problems because <laughs> everyone's um, downloading and watching, streaming everything, Netflix and everything. So yeah, um, we're going to suffer a little bit on those things. So I'm making an analogy here between surviving hurricanes and the pandemic because I've been through them and I want to take you through the steps. Number one, hurricane's coming, okay? Number two, we buy supplies and hole up. Number three is we have a hurricane party. <laughs> I was telling someone this the other day and they were like, that sounds good, I'm gonna have a hurricane party. Um, for you drinkers out there, you young people, it does mean a lot of alcohol. <laughs> and for those of us with small children, it's just lighting candles and having the fun. We have hurricane parties to celebrate the hurricanes and then the next thing we do is we brace ourselves because we know having been through these things before, it's gonna go one of two ways. Either it's gonna veer off course and hit someone else, not us, unfortunately, it's still gonna hit someone, but sometimes it goes back out to sea. So it's gonna veer off and not hit us or <laughs> it's gonna come straight on us, it's gonna be the worst case scenario and it's gonna dump rain on us for five days and the whole city is gonna be flooded. Just like what happened in Houston. If that happens, here's the next thing that happens. The next thing that happens is resources come in from all over the world. The last time we had the hurricane, my kids and I were in our little apartment and we stepped outside and the Cajun Navy had come in from Louisiana and volunteered and I watched a helicopter fly over. It was Las Vegas Police Department and resources came in, Red Cross came in, my kids' school brought us food and diapers. And so the, the next thing that always happens is resources came in. It can also be your insurance, all kinds of things come in. And we are really right now in this pandemic between those two steps. We're in between, uh, we're already holed in, right? Our, I'm in Houston, we're shut down. Um, most of you are at stay at home orders right now. So we've already stayed home. The next step is we brace, brace ourselves for what's going to happen. And it's looking like, it's looking like some major problems are going to happen. One is the economy and two is the mental health issue that I'm trying so hard to address right now. So in the news right now, we're talking so much about the health, right? Our physical health. And Trump yesterday started really talking about the economy. So there's really three parts to this that are big for us to think about. Number one is our physical health. Number two is our mental health. And number three is our economy. Big things out there, right? So. We already kind of know what's going to happen to our physical health, our mental health guys. That's why I'm doing this every day. We got to keep our spirits up and look for the positive and good things are going to come out of this from the mental health system. Like I talked about before, the third thing is the economy and the economy is really playing into a lot of our fears and a lot of our anxieties about, um, how we're feeling in general. So it's not just the isolation. It's the uncertainty about the economy. Well, this morning I woke up and have you guys heard? The stimulus package was passed. So help is on its way. And if you look through that, there's all kinds of help 
for everyone. So that's the stage that I've gone through with hurricanes where resources start, start to flood in. And guys, they're going to come in from everywhere. Like I said a couple of days ago, check your email. Resor resources are going to start to come in. Look for them. They're going to start to come in. And this is a good good thing. And see what happens in going through this with Houston, going through this with Rita and New Orleans. What happens after this is we get to rebuild. And we are close. We're really close to getting to the rebuild part of this. So we've got two or three weeks of at home. Make the best of it. Play. Hold people. Rest. Catch up on Netflix, right? Do those things. But here's the other thing I want you to do. I want you to dream. I want you to dream because what's going to happen after any natural disaster happens is it's a time to rebuild. <laughs> um, yeah, good. It's a time to rebuild. So when that, the analogy of insurance coming in and rebuilding your house when the insurance money comes in, you get to rebuild your house the way you want it. And when these resources come in, you're going to get to rebuild your life the way you want it. So spend the next couple of weeks, spend the next couple of weeks figuring out the life you want. If someone handed you a check <clears throat> today for $200,000, how would you rebuild your life? What would you do career-wise? What would you do with your house? So rest up. The rebuilding is about to come. So you're going to need the rest because we're all going to be working hard, but it's going to be working hard, doing something we love, rebuilding our lives. I don't want to minimize what you're going through and the anxiety. I'm trying to help you feel a little bit better and show you the bigger picture, the reality of what's going on. Okay. Thanks for your comments. We're going to post this on other social media and I'll be back tomorrow, same time, 10 a.m. Central Standard Time with some more tips and some more updates on good things that are happening and just for dealing with feeling crappy right now, okay? I love you guys. Please comment, last thing, please comment on my social media if you found any mental health resources, online resources, a book you like, anything that's inspiring you and helping you through this. It'll help other people if you post it up there. Do that one good thing today. And maybe one other good thing, just do something nice for somebody else. Tomorrow we're going to talk about relationships and how this is affecting relationships. Find me on TammyGreen.com for more information. Okay, love you guys. Mwah.